Hey folks, it's Joseph at John the Dweller. So I have this have to say this again. Because I rewatched my old video and I didn't like how slow I was talking. Uh, I got a lot of crap for talking too fast in the past, so I slow down and I talk and you know I talk at this rate and I just talk how I normally do, just laid back and relaxed. But I realize that doesn't work really well for YouTube. Uh, so I'll do this again. Protestants, and especially evangelicals, why do you believe modern-day Jews are the children of Israel? Why? You don't think they're part of the faith of God. You don't think they're saved, although some of you do. Some of you think, well, just because they're Jews, they're saved. Um, just because of the blood in their veins. So all the atheist Jews, doesn't matter. They're going to heaven. That's very racist, and it's a slap against them, because they, they're, they're worth nothing now. Who gives a damn? Why should I care about bringing them to Christ? Why should, why should any, I mean, you wind up becoming an nihilist. Fortunately, not many evangelicals preach this, uh, although many believe it in their heart. So let's look at what's really going on. Your mother has to be a Jew in order for you to be a Jew. Where in the Bible does it say that? In the Bible, we clearly see the only people that are Jews are the ones descended from the males. The 12 tribes of Israel. How could any of the sons of Jacob have married a Jewish woman? It's impossible. Dina was the only one, the only Jewish woman, basically. She was the only daughter of Jacob. And we don't have any records of her. We don't know what, what happened with her. Although apparently she got raped, but it wasn't really rape. It was, I mean, the, just the treachery of, uh, of Jacob's sons. Well, let's go down the line. Okay, I believe in Abraham. Jacob comes along. No, I don't want to believe in him. I only believe in Abraham. Okay, Moses received the Ten Commandments from Sinai. Whoa, why are we listening to you? I only believe in Jacob. Go down the line. What if you were in the northern tribes and you rejected uh, the prophets of, uh, of, of Judah? Now, would any of these people be considered Jews when they reject Moses or when they reject Jacob or if they reject the prophets? They're not apostates. Okay. But are they? Of course. But that's, that's not... That's not uh, that's not um, in line with what the Protestants say, because we look even farther to the future, the Hasmoneans. If you sided with the Gentiles against Judas Maccabeus, Judah Maccabee, and you went with the Hasmoneans and you removed your circumcision scars, however that was done back then, <laughs> whoa, and you went to the gymnasiums and the bathhouses, would you still be considered a Jew or would you consider apostate? Because you're not listening to what the Maccabees do, you're rejecting Moses. No, you wouldn't be a Jew. And we know from the first century writings, and even in the New Testament, there are proselyte Jews. This is a big thing. Many people were converting to Judaism in the first century BC and the first century AD. It was an attractive movement because it was a moral movement. Now, What do you think about somebody who converted to Judaism from uh, the Philistines? Let's just say they were Philistines, say a whole tribe, a whole city of Philistines converted to Judaism uh, just before the fall of, uh, of Israel and the Levant to the, uh, to the Babylonians. Would those people be Jews? Um, so let's carry on. The only people who categorically reject Christ, who say he's in hell right now and he's a false messiah and he's a liar and his name should be erased from the memory of mankind, is Talmudic Judaism. There are many people who believe that all Ashkenazis come from Kazaria. Now let me tell you what Kazaria is. Kazaria 
is a nation of Khazars uh, that was just over the Caucasus Mountains, the borders of the Caucasus Mountains and the Volga River. Huge nation. Uh, and they were pagans. They were sandwiched in between the Islamic Empire and the Byzantine Empire. They were to convert to Christianity, the uh, Muslims would attack. If they were to convert to Islam, uh, the Muslims were, would attack, and you'd have to kind of pay tribute to their their imams or patriarchs. So what did they do? They adopted Talmudic Judaism, Pharisaic Judaism, and this was around 700 A.D. approximately. It's probably a little bit later, but I'm going to say real early, because, I mean, it was definitely after 700 A.D., say 700 A.D., just, let's say 600 A.D., Wow, that's still a hundred and or five hundred and seventy years after the crucifixion. And we know this. I've talked to Rabbi uh, Samuel Mann at the um, at Temple B'nai Israel, and he even said, "Oh yeah, Khazars." You know, he doesn't deny. It. He's not. Oh, you're uh, no. Uh, we call them Ashkenazi Jews. Well, Ash Ashkenad was from the tribe of Japheth. Japheth. He was one of the children of Japheth. Remember Shem Ham and Japheth. So he's not even he's not even a Semite, and uh, the Ashkenazi Jews are not Semites, and they make up eighty five percent of the Jews in the world today. What land in Israel are they going back to? Oh, they're going home to their to their motherland. No, how do you know that there's a single drop of blood of Abraham in them? Not even the Jews say. Oh, is it? they say no. This is what they say. Those who have the faith. Are Israelites even if they have to convert those who lose their faith are still bound because of their previous arrangements and those born to uh, female Jews okay that's one thing why doesn't Christianity have a similar standard well because we don't believe religion can get passed down from father to son or at least Protestants don't Catholics and Orthodox I'm not speaking on that uh, So, where are these Jews? These Jews are returning to Israel when? Their families were never there. You still think the Jews are the, the branch that God's going to reunite? Um, okay, that may happen, but it would probably happen with the Sephardic Jews because, I mean, what? The branch is getting restored. Let's say it's an oak tree. Rip off a lamp, limb from an oak tree. You want to restore it? Are you going to go to a birch tree or an apple tree? No. So where is where where is this branch that's going to be restored? Or was Paul talking about a different time, not future, not extreme future events like you know after the year two thousand? Or uh, or maybe it already happened when he wrote it. Maybe it already maybe that was Christ or Peter. Or James. Um, but yeah, this whole idea of, well, the Jews need to go back to their land because we're Zionists. What about all the Christians that live there? What about the Jewish people who converted to Christianity and were not thrown out of Palestine and lived there? Now, um, 2000, about 2,000 years, 1,900 years later, or 1,800 years later, um, the Jews come back. They come to Israel. Well, I shouldn't say come back. They're mostly Ashkenaz, um, Ashkenazi. Uh, they um, they kick these people who that's their ancestral homeland, and they accept the Messiah. You're willing to tell me that the only people who categorically reject Christ and say he's in hell right now, those are still God's chosen people. It doesn't matter about their apostasy. It doesn't matter that they've been in apostasy for two thousand years. I mean, can can we say the same for the Muslims about the about Ishmael? Oh wait, Muhammad wasn't descended from Ishmael. So when you Protestants talk about end times prophecy, what are you talking about? Do you even know what you're talking about? Oh, those the, the Jews are descended from uh, the ancient Israelites. Every single bit of DNA evidence, of cultural evidence, of anything, shows no, they're not. And the Kabbalah is extremely pagan. 
it was banned for a while. Because the guy, uh, one of the head guys of the Kabbalah said, yeah, you know what, I'm the Messiah. And so did everybody else said, yeah, you're the Messiah. And then the Muslims came to him and put a sword through his throat and said, uh, yeah, you need to um, knock this crap off and convert to Islam. Well, did he, was he like Christ, brave, who died for what he believed in? No, he converted to Islam. And he told other Jews to do so. And a lot of people who were Jews that believed in him converted to Islam too. What do you do with that? You really don't think about your belief at all, do you? Why do you think modern-day Israeli Jews who don't give a crap about Christ, who don't like him, who think he ruined the world, they're still God's chosen people, even though they're apostate? God, God still, God cares about more, more about them than the Palestinian Christians who got thrown off their land. It's all part of God's plan. We need tanks and missiles and bombs to bring about the Messiah. That's what they believe. Do you believe that? Or do you believe he could come back at any time? We have to help Israel so that Jesus can come back? Are you kidding me?